So one of the other very common question we get asked here is, should I study my bachelor's degree or master's degree here in Australia? In this video, we are going to discuss some key points that you should consider whether to study in bachelor's or master's degree. And at the end of the video, I'll also give you my personal opinion whether you should study bachelor's or masters as well. So without wasting any time, let's jump into those points. So the first main difference between bachelor's and master's degree is the timing. To complete your bachelor's degree here in Australia, it will take you around three years. But if you're going to do bachelor's degree with honors, then it will take you around four years to complete. But if you're going to study master's degree, it will be anywhere between one and a half years to two years. So with the time frame, you can clearly see that it will take you longer time to complete your bachelor degree compared to your master's degree. And that brings us to the very important next factor is the cost. So if you want to study bachelor's degree, it can cost you anywhere from 25 to $45,000 per year. So on an average, you can say you might be paying around $30,000 per year for your bachelor's degree. However, if you wanna do master's degree, it can be around 25 to $50,000 per year for completing your master's. On an average, it can be around $35,000 per year for completing your master's. Also be mindful that we're not talking here about very expensive courses like medical or veterinary courses. We're talking more general courses like business management, accounting, IT and so on. Now just a minute ago, we were obviously talking about the time frames as well. So to complete your bachelor's degree, it will not only take you longer time, but it will also cost you probably more money as well. So imagine paying $30,000 for three to four years versus $35,000 to one and a half to two years. So that's a huge factor to consider for many students who are planning to choose either bachelor's or master's degree. Now the next point is post-study work visas. Now many students who complete their studies here in Australia look forward to some additional time to do some work after their studies. So usually after completing your bachelor degree, you can get around two years of post-study work visas. But there is an update for the master's students by coursework. In the past, it used to be only two years of post-study work visas. But now the government has announced that they will give three years for students who have completed their masters by coursework as well. It used to be only for the students with the masters by research, but the recent change means that international students who are completing their masters by coursework will also get additional year. So that's another benefit for studying master's degree here in Australia. Now the next point is changing streams. Now most likely if you're going to study your bachelor's degree, you would have done your year 12. With the year 12, it is quite easy to change your stream if you wanna do bachelor's in something else. Like for example, if you have studied a medical course in year 12, but you wanna do some other course in bachelor's degree like commerce or IT, that shouldn't be a big issue because it's not a big deal of changing stream after your year 12. But when it comes to master's degree, obviously you have studied three years in bachelor's in your home country. So it becomes a little bit complicated to change your stream for a master's course if you have already completed your bachelor's degree. Because obviously you have spent three additional years of studying this specific stream. Obviously changing to another stream will require additional documentation and additional efforts to prove that you really want to change to a new stream after doing bachelor's degree. So it becomes complex to change your stream after bachelor's degree. However, it is much easier to change your stream if you are going to study bachelor's here after year 12. And when it comes to migration, especially if you are planning to apply for some skilled independent visas, your age factor will play a huge role. So that is our next point. Obviously after completing your year 12 and doing your bachelor's mean you will be around 18, 19 year old when you arrive here in Australia. But if you come here to do your master's, you might already be 21, 22 years old. And if you go to the immigration's website, you can see that if you are under the age of 25, you only score 25 points for your age. And if you are between the age of 25 to 33 years old, you score 30 points. So those five points can be a huge difference for many people who are applying for these visas. Even after completing your professional year or some other courses, you still might not reach that 25 years mark after completing your bachelor's. But with the master's, even if you have done a couple of years of course, you can do a professional year plus those additional couple of years in your post-study work visa will help you to easily reach the age of 25. So that can be a huge bonus for the students who are doing their masters 
because those five points can be very critical when you're applying for your permanent visas. I'm telling this from my own experience. I'm not a migration agent. So if you wanna know more about migration opportunities after studies, please speak to a registered migration agent for that. And one other factor is maturity. Obviously, if you do your bachelor's degree back in your home country, you will definitely be a much mature person than what you usually are after completing your year 12 only. Coming after year 12, you may not have too much experience and you might not have done a college or university in your home country, which obviously means you will have a less experience in life comparatively if you have done your bachelor's in your home country and coming in Australia for your master's. And obviously coming to Australia by yourself means there are a lot of challenges you might face and facing those challenges by yourself in a young age can be a bit difficult for some. Not everyone will have this issue, but students who come here for master's degree find themselves in a bit better position than the students who are coming for bachelor's degree. And one another factor that I would say about from my own personal experience, after completing master's degree here in Australia, when I was applying for a few jobs, I heard this word few times that I was overqualified for the jobs I was applying for. What overqualification means is that you have done more qualifications than what we actually need for. It certainly wasn't a very big issue, but obviously there are some jobs that you might apply for after your masters and they may say to you that you are kind of overqualified for these job roles. But eventually I end up getting a job, so that wasn't a major issue, but this is something you might hear especially after completing your masters here in Australia. Now coming to my personal opinion on whether you should study your bachelor's or master's, I would definitely say if I have to tell myself that if I have to study again here in Australia, I would choose master's degree. There are just too many benefits of doing a master's degree over bachelor degree here in Australia. The time is much shorter comparatively to the bachelor's. The course is much less than the bachelor's degree. There's additional points if I meet the age requirements after completing my master's degree. There's also additional post-study work visa for master's degree holders as well. And as a person, you're usually much more mature after completing your bachelor's in your home country and coming here for your studies for masters. But that was my personal opinion. Obviously, students come here for studying their bachelor's. Obviously, students come here for doing their masters as well. At the end of the day, it is an individual choice whether to study bachelor's or master's program here in Australia. The quality of studies for both bachelor's and masters is quite good so there won't be any issues with the quality of education but you definitely have to consider which one is better for you based on your personal circumstances as well and we would love to hear from you as well which course are you planning to do in Australia whether it's a master's or bachelor's degree please let us know your course in the comment section below and if you haven't downloaded already we got a really useful guide on our website as well which is overseas students guide 2022 please go and download it from the website. The link is in the description below. If you're planning to study here in Australia, we've got plenty of content on the channel. Please check the description for further details. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.